Hello, this is Def Leopard 98 coming to show you something I found that I was able to make using a little big planet level editor. It is a um what would be called a single dial lock and I made it using little big planet's level editor. So now here you see we have the dial now right here that's the switch to turn the dial over here you step on this button if you have the right combination and out here will be a trophy and then you just run into this and win now the combo is one six eight here let's give it a try now this it took me it didn't take me that long but it did kind of make me think in certain ways. So you spin the dial clockwise until it gets all the way around to one. Oops. Okay, until it gets all the way around to one. Now, after you've gotten it to one, then you spin it counterclockwise to six. But it not just to six, it has to go all the way around past one and then to six. Yeah, well, you may notice that the thing turns a little bit slow. The reason that I wanted it slow was so that people didn't accidentally go too far and totally screw up the um, the lock system. So I just made it go slow. It it takes a little while, but it's okay. Now, once we get to six, we go to eight. That's the last number in our combination. I could have made the dial bigger, but I just didn't want to fit all those numbers in. It had just been... Okay, let's see if it worked. Oops. Yeah! Here's our trophy. Finish the level. And I'll give you these trophies if you win. Yep. Now... I'll show you how to make it in create mode. Now, I um, will assume that you have no idea how a lock works. Well, how a lock works is that we have three different, um, let's call them rings. Now, the outer, the closest ring is connected to the dial. So when you turn the dial right, the outer ring moves right. If you turn it left, it moves left. So each one can catch on to the level below it and this well the, okay the first dial can't it can only move the second dial. The second dial can move both the first if it turns counterclockwise but it can also move the third if it turns counterclockwise and the last one can only move the, the second dial. Now if turning it to six if you turn the dial to one, this is what will happen. See, once you turn the dial, now it's turning right now. This is kind of kind of boring, just just a little bit boring. Do, do, do. Now, once you turn it to one, it may be a little bit hard to see, but on the very bottom layer, you can see that the hole is at the bottom. Now, if we turn it. All the way around, back to six. Hmm. Now, yes, okay. So if we turn it all the way around, back to six, when I fly up there, you'll see that the hole for the second one has gone, um, is now at the bottom. The reason we have to turn the whole spin around is because in order for the, fir for the first one to catch on to the second one, it has to spin all the way around once so that it can turn it in the right direction. Er counterclockwise direction. Now once we get to six, I'll go up and you can see two holes are facing the bottom, the last one and the second one. Now all we have to do is get the first one. So we just turn turn it all the way to eight. Now if we fly up there we'll see all the holes are at the bottom. Now in order for you to know if the mechanism has worked or not, I have these holes and down here this little piece is on 
a little hydraulic switch thing and once you step on this button here it'll push this up right here it'll push this up and if they're all aligned it doesn't have to be totally perfect that's why I made them so big but once they're aligned it can go up and hit the sensor it'll play a cheer sound and your trophy will appear so let's try it yep we won Woo. that's the end of my video and if you would like to play with me on the PlayStation Network my PlayStation Network ID is Def Leopard 98 and um, I want you all if you watch this to go check out one of my favorite websites sarcasticgamer.com bye